My name is Miss Karen. I'm so very glad to see you here today. It has been a great month learning all about Jesus and His love for us. He loves us so much. Who loves you? Jesus loves me. Say that again. Who loves you? Jesus loves me. It's true. Jesus is the best and He loves us a whole lot of it. Let's sing this song that we've been learning all month. I know you know it, so sing it out loud. His love will never quit. His love will never run away. Even when I get upset, His love is still forgiving me. And it's all because, all because, His love isn't just a little bit. He loves me a whole lot, a lot of, a whole lot, a lot of, a whole lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of it. He loves me a whole. That was so much fun! Jesus' love will never quit, never run away, ever! I'm so glad that Jesus wants to be my friend forever! This month, we've learned an awesome verse from the Bible about being a good friend. Do you remember it? Great! Let's say it together. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. Let's try it one more time. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. Great job. When does a friend love? At all times. That's the kind of friend Jesus is. He loves us with a no matter what, all the time, never stopping kind of love. He is amazing. No matter where you go or what you do, Jesus loves you. Who loves you? Jesus loves me! Friends, we make choices every day. Sometimes we make good choices, and sometimes we make bad choices. Today, we'll talk about good choices and bad choices. I will say a choice. If it's a good choice, give me a big thumbs up. If it's a bad choice, Give me a thumbs down. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Is brushing your teeth a good choice or a bad choice? Awesome! You gave me a thumbs up. It's a good choice to brush your teeth. Okay, get ready for the next one. Not picking up your toys. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? 
That's right, it's a bad choice. What about arguing with your brother or your sister? Good choice or bad choice? It's a bad choice to argue with our brother and sister. We need to try to be kind to each other. How about helping with dinner? Do you help cook or do you clean up after dinner? If helping with dinner is a good choice, give me thumbs up. If it's a bad choice, give me thumbs down. That's right, helping with dinner is a good choice. It's great to be a helper if you can. How about saying your prayers? Is that a good choice or a bad choice? It's a good choice to say our prayers. Jesus loves it when we talk to him. Is it a good choice or a bad choice when you don't do what your mom and daddy say? That's a bad choice. We need to obey our moms and dads, don't we? Mm-hmm. How about bringing a friend a flower? Is that a good choice or a bad choice? That's a good choice. It's nice to be kind to our friends. Last one. Being a good listener. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? That's a great choice. Good job, friends. We all make good choices and bad choices, but someone special loves us no matter what choices we make. We'll hear all about it in our Bible story today. The woman in our Bible story today didn't always make good choices. Do you think Jesus loved the woman anyway? Well, let's go to the Wonder Clubhouse and find out. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. <laughs> Oh, hello there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy. My friends and I have had so much fun playing in the clubhouse sandbox. I brought some fun new toys for us to play with today. Do you know what this is? It's called a sifter. See, these holes will let the sand through, but not big things. Let's see if there's anything bigger than sand in this bucket. Oh, look at that. There was something bigger than sand in my bucket. There's some seashells, like at the beach. I'm gonna save these to show to my friends later. Do you know what this is? It's called a funnel. You can pour things through it like this. I know, let's see if we can fill the bottle of sand using the funnel. I'll just put it right here. Oh no! Sand is everywhere! It's all over the floor! I've made the biggest mess. Zoe's gonna be so mad at me. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hi there, Poppy. Ho, ho. Is something the matter with you? Hey, Ollie. I was having so much fun with my sand toys, but then I made a big mess. Zoe loves this sandbox so much. She's going to be really mad at me. I understand how you feel. It's true. I have the perfect story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman with lots of letters for the neighborhood. But this one is actually from me to my friend Aisha. 
I dropped some of her cupcakes the other day, so I wrote her an I'm sorry card. I think she'll forgive me because she's always been my friend no matter what. Which reminds me of our story today. Are you ready for it? I'll just put the story mail in the mailbox and... Today's true story from the Bible begins with a special dinner for Jesus. As Jesus and the people were eating and talking, a woman who was not invited walked in, carrying a bottle of perfume. Now, this woman had made a lot of bad choices, so the people at the dinner did not think they would see her there. Look, what is she doing? She's sitting at Jesus' feet and she's crying. She's crying because Jesus had forgiven her for making bad choices. She knows Jesus loves her no matter what. The woman was so thankful Jesus loved her. She wanted to do something special for him. So she started to wash his feet. The woman washed Jesus' feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. Then she poured perfume on his feet. The people at the party thought Jesus should stay away from her. You don't know what she's done, they said. But Jesus just smiled. Because Jesus did know. Jesus knew everything the woman had done, and he could see how sorry she was and how much she loved him. So Jesus told her, woman, you are forgiven. Now go in peace. Friends, there is absolutely nothing you could ever do to make Jesus stop loving you. He loves you no matter what. Jesus loves you, and he wants to be your friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. The woman was thankful for Jesus and he showed he loved her, too. Thanks, Ellie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, what a great story. The woman put perfume on Jesus' feet to show him that she was thankful for him. Jesus loved the woman no matter what, and Jesus loves us no matter what, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! And you know what? Jesus loves me even when I make a mess. I'm gonna clean this up and tell my friends that I'm sorry for spilling the sand. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Our Bible story today was about how Jesus loves us no matter what. Even though the woman in the story had made a lot of wrong choices, Jesus still loved her and he forgave her. Jesus did that because a friend loves at all times. The Bible verse we learned this month will help us remember that. It says, A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. Should we try to say it together one more time? Great. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. You did that so well, friends. Good job. When you mess up, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's right. Jesus loves you. It's time to close our eyes and talk to God. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for forgiving the woman in this story and loving her no matter what. We know that you love us too. Every person in the world has made wrong choices and we all need Jesus to forgive us. Today, we want to say we are sorry for our wrong choices. Thank you for loving us no matter what. We love you, Jesus, amen. Today we learned that Jesus loves us no matter what. Jesus loves us when we're 
happy, when we're sad, when we're angry, and even when we make wrong choices. Anytime we make a wrong choice, we can talk to Jesus about it and tell him we're sorry. Jesus will always love us and he will always forgive us because Jesus is a friend who loves at all times. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. You bet he does. I'll see you next time, friends.